I will show a few clips of me and Ulta. I don't know how they get as far as food. Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas day six or seven. I don't know, I can't keep track anymore. This would be Vlogmas Day 6. I'm actually going to be heading into Ulta today. I don't really have anything specific planned to buy. I just wanted to go in and see what holiday stuff they have and plan because I have to start getting Christmas gifts. So I need to kind of start planning and stuff like that. But sometimes I like to go get like holiday gifts because they're better deals like for myself. If I need something like liners or you know eyeshadow palettes or whatever, um, you just usually get a better deal when you get the holiday stuff. And it's also and like very extra. I'm gonna do that. And then usually I would love, I really wanted to stop at Target today. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to because by the time I stop at Ulta, we all know that's gonna be a long, long process. I'm gonna be there for at least an hour and, or longer. So I don't know if I'm gonna, and I have to get lunch. So I don't know if I'm gonna have time to go to Target. So I can just do that tomorrow. But anywho, I will show a few clips of me at Ulta. I don't know how they get as far as I don't know how they get as far as filming in there. I don't know how anal. I know Sephora, they have had their moments. You know, we tried to film in there a long time ago and it didn't go well. So I don't know. Uh, so I'm just going to try and be super secretive about it and just try and get like a few shots and things like that. But anyways, I will catch you guys when I'm back. Okay guys, so I'm back from picking up the kids. I'm gonna show you what I got at Ulta. A little unboxing. I actually got two products, uh, KKW products slash Kylie products. So the first thing is, if you guys haven't known yet or haven't seen, I'm sure you have, but Kylie Jenner is now selling her lip kits in stores at Ulta. And um, a lot of them were sold out, like a ton of them. But I was able to pick up the Coco K color, which I did was I was actually looking for a pinky. Um, sorry, excuse the way I look right now. Like I look crazy. It's been a long day, but I've actually been looking for a pinky liquid lipstick that doesn't, it's not too gray, but not too like pastel-y at the same time. I don't know. But these are the kits. If you guys don't know, these are priced at $29. I think that's a reasonable price considering you get two products. You get a lip liner and a liquid lipstick. So that's like breaking it down $15 each basically. So this is it right here. And like I said, this is a shade Coco K. Okay, so that's it swatched. Hopefully you can see there. It's a very pretty pinky rosy color and the lip, lip liner doesn't match perfectly, but it's like definitely in the same family. So I'm, I'm assuming there's a specific reason, like as far as dimension that she didn't match it. Like, in other words, if you have a lighter, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like she wanted it to be a little bit more dimensional. So that's why they're two different colors, but still not same family. So I'm going to try this out now. I'm going to line my lips first. I'm going to see the instructions just in case there's a specific way. Um, it says Kylie's lip kit tips. Try to say that three times fast. For the best result, fill in your lips with the lip liner. Then top with one coat of matte liquid lipstick. So that's what we want you to do. Go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay. It's like you're my personal Illuminati. Okay, so I lined I lined my lips and then I also filled it in a little bit. The lip liner is nice. It's definitely not too dry and it's definitely not too gel like so it's kind of like that perfect in between point that i feel like it would definitely last if you just want to wear it on its own with like a lip gloss and it's a really pretty color it's definitely like a light pinky kind of naturally color so she said do that then just do one coat of the liquid lipstick so i'm assuming they're pig pigmented enough and these are a lot more watery than i thought like i thought they were going to be i thought they were going to be more moussey uh so it's definitely a lot more watery consistency I just did one coat like it said. My lips are already on, on their own right now, kind of dry. 
but so far it definitely feels thin. It doesn't feel too bad. I've heard different reviews. I've heard some people say that they are really drying and that they can't use them. And then I've heard people say that they love the lip kits. Obviously the sales are doing well. So I'm assuming Yay! mostly that they're good. Um, but we'll see, they feel comfortable. It dried down in like two seconds. Like no transfer at all. The color's really, really pretty other than I look totally crazy with bags, but so far they feel really comfortable. It feels really thin and like, like nothing's on my lip kind of feeling when I really like that. Sometimes you use liquid lipsticks and they're really thick, chunky feeling, but this feels like I don't have much on my lips. There's absolutely no tackiness, which I hate. I hate when you have like a, like, a liquid lipstick that's really thick and like really tacky. This feels really good. So I don't know, I would have to wear it for a long period of time to determine if it's gonna be like super drying. But for right now, it's not bad. Totally kiss proof other than my dry lips. I like the where it's priced at. I like the way that it feels so far. So far so good. I actually did swatch it on my hand earlier and it has not come off and I've washed my hands so that is definitely a good sign. So then the next thing I want to unbox is something I was not expecting to buy, but I did. It's the Kimoji peach emoji, or no, it's not emoji, peach perfume, Kimoji perfume. And I saw this and I was like, okay, like they looked cute and I smelled it and I was like, oh my gosh, like that smells so, so good. I actually was contemplating on getting the Donna Carey Cashmere Mist. Talk about complete opposite. That's like a very powder, like powdery, womanly scent. I have a Dior and I love it. And I mean, I was debating on that one, but then I saw this one and I smelled it and it's such a sweet, but sexy, musky scent. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Here's the packaging. It's very like Apple product. Like it feels the same. It's really funny. It looks like an Apple product with like the whole like embossing and everything. But then you slide it open like this. So I really like the packaging for sure. And then that's what it looks like, a little peach. Just so cute. So that's it, really, really cute. And then you just kind of pop open the lid like that. So I'm gonna spray it and just kind of give you guys, I, I will probably put the notes right here on the screen because I don't know off the top of my head, but I know there's like vanilla and some musk in there, obviously like peach and something else. I'll have to like put the notes up there. The true test to me is like if my husband likes it. Because to me, I think, like I like to have different variations of perfumes. I like to have some more womanly scents. I like to have some more sweeter scents, some more beachy scents. Um, and this one, I haven't really bought a sweet perfume in a long, long time. And I really wanted something that's like daytime fun fresh. And this one definitely is like a spring summer perfume. Although if you were in the dead of winter with snow, this would be a really good pick me up. But it smells like peach for sure. And it has like, you can almost smell a little bit of vanilla in it. I'm like trying. And there's like the slight muskiness that like separates it from a kid perfume. You know what I'm saying? I know that sounds weird and sounds bad, but just like, you know what I mean? Like you have a product handy that's like out of sweetness, but there is a feminine, like a womanliness to it. It's kind of like that, but obviously fruity flavored or fruity scented. I don't know. I like it. I To me, it's more just like, will it last all day? I'm going to try it out tomorrow and see. And I'll let you guys know, probably in the description box, whether it lasted all day. But the price range is not bad. It is only $45 for a 50 ml. Right. What, yeah, 50 ml, which is 1.7 ounces. And I think that's a really good price. This is actually an eau de parfum or parfum, however you want to pronounce it. So it is not like a toilet, which is a little bit cheaper and a little less concentrated. It's actually pretty, it's an actual concentrated perfume, not the toilet. So I appreciate that. I appreciate the price range on it. Um, they also have a cherry one. I didn't like that one. And she also has her other scent, the one that's like a little gem looking thing. That one smells like just fresh gardenia. And I do like that one. But this one really attracted to, I was like, I was really attracted to this one. Also, they didn't have the gardenia one, so it smells good. I'm gonna see if my husband likes it, but yeah, so far so good. It's really, really cute. I really like it, like for that reason, it's really cute, but also the scent is just like, a, it makes you happy. You know what I mean? Like it's just one of those scents. So anyways, that is it for now. I will keep you guys updated probably in the description box, let you know if it lasted a while or not. I'm actually gonna go ahead and cook a blue apron now. I'm probably not gonna film it for you guys because you've seen me cook millions and millions of blue aprons. 
unless you really want to see it, let me know in the comments below and I can film more for you. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I appreciate you guys. Everyone who does watch comments, likes, I really do appreciate that. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas and remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.